I mean, it is, it is a massive trade-off. What you're doing by staying in the customs union is uh, essentially receiving guaranteed access into the EU without having to negotiate it afresh. Uh, you're getting a streamlined, though not equivalent to what you have now, level of trade facilitation at the border. But in exchange, you cannot lower your tariffs below those of the European Union. What that will mean for a negotiation with, with anyone uh, is that the UK will be approaching those negotiations without one of the biggest arrows it would otherwise have in its quiver, which is to offer reduced tariff access into the UK um, uh, in exchange for things it wants, either on goods or on services. Now, it's possible to overstate that. Um, for, for one thing, I know that there's a strong push within the UK to lower a lot of those tariffs unilaterally. Um, so that's kind of point one. And the areas where the UK doesn't want to lower tariffs, or there seems to be opposition, are sensitive sectors that will be just as sensitive in a bilateral negotiation with the US. You will find it just as difficult to trade that bilaterally in some ways. So it is possible to overstate that. It's also important to, to note that as we've said all along, these kind of FTAs that aren't regional, that aren't regional integration, but that are, for example, the EU and Canada. The EU, despite being able to offer access to its massive, massive internal market, despite all of these things, and despite having the UK inside it pushing for services access, wasn't able to get that much services access out of Canada. Um, FTAs don't tend to provide, and that's with with its full economic muscle and with those things. So to what extent will it, to what extent would in a null case scenario where the UK isn't in the customs union and it's negotiating with the US, to what extent will having control of its tariffs allow you to kick in doors that would otherwise be closed? I tend to be more on the skeptical side because I've sat in front of a USTR negotiating team and I still have the like track marks over my face as they drove over me. So um, uh, maybe I'm a bit bearish on that. Maybe there are maybe there are bulls on the panel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more trade explainers or in some trade policy or negotiations training for your organization, please check out my website, explaintrade.com. I also tweet at Demetrio Pines. Until next time, everyone.